after the break. Gordon Coventry, it wasn't surprising that Collingwood was one of the most successful of all VFL clubs in the early days. In the first 25 years of the league, the Pies won five premierships and were runners-up seven times and missed the finals only once. Coventry, who played 306 matches, is the game's all-time goal-kicking record holder with 1,299 majors at an average of 4.25 per game. His brother Sid captained Collingwood to four successive flags between 1927 and 1930, the only club to have achieved that feat. The team's coach was Jock McHale, who was at the helm for an amazing 38 years, which reaped the club eight premierships. He was succeeded in 1950 by Fonce Kine, who took the Pies to their 12th flag in 1953, and was the man who planned Collingwood's 1958 grand final win against Melbourne, possibly the most glorious victory the proud club has achieved. In upsetting the Demons, Kine's men prevented Melbourne equaling their record of four consecutive premierships. But thereafter, the club had to endure many grand final heartaches as Collingwood reached the grand final regularly, but the ultimate prize proved elusive. In Bob Rose's first year as coach, Collingwood lost the 1964 grand final by four points, the 66th grand final by a point, and the 1970 match by 10 points after leading Carlton by a mammoth 44 points at half time. It was a terrible time for the club, and Rose called it quits at the end of the 1971 season. Tom Hafey also had his share of disappointments at Victoria Park, because he took the Fies to four grand finals in five years without success. The Magpies are really savage at the moment. That's his second goal. 1977 was perhaps Hafey's most dramatic year. The club finished the home and away matches on top of the ladder. The Pies moved into the grand final after beating Hawthorne by two points in the second semi-final. That win, however, came at a mighty cost. Star forward and utility player, fabulous, Phil Carmen, after being found guilty of striking Hawthorne's Michael Tuck, was suspended. Carmen not only missed the grand final against North, which was a draw, he missed the replay. And another flag slipped through the Pies' fingers. The Premiership drought was finally broken in 1990. Led by inspirational captain and Norm Smith medalist Tony Shaw, Collingwood plundered Essendon by 48 points. The 32-year wait for black and white glory was finally over. <laughs>